Good morning, good morning to each and every one of you all. I am so blessed to be offered the opportunity to come here and bring this beautiful place to you again. We did this six months ago and I've been waiting for the opportunity to have the new equipment and also waiting for some rains and stuff to really come here and show off this place at the absolute best because that is what I deserve. Um, the owner of this property calls this the most enchanted place on earth. Um, I tend to agree with him. He's one of them for sure, without a doubt. Down here, the peace and the tranquility is just amazing. I can't think of a more perfect place for us to have to um, enjoy this morning, especially now it's around Independence time because this is one of the true treasures of Barbados. And <laughs> although it has many more colors than the Barbados national flag, this represents the beauty and peace of Barbados beyond a shadow of a doubt. So I'm not gonna talk too much more on myself anyhow. I'd like to look over this beautiful garden. We're at Hunt's Garden. Um, Anthony Hunt has offered us this amazing opportunity this morning to bring our family here so that we may show you one of what is some of the hidden, hidden treasures for some people that have never been here. A lot of people come to Barbados, including myself. I've lived there all of my life and I visited this place for the first time six months ago. Because I just said it's a garden. What's a garden? You know what I mean? I was raised in a plantation. My aunt was a florist. You know, so I didn't think of anything of a garden of anything like this, that's for sure. But for the very first time that I've come here, I have felt an extremely strong presence in this garden. It is peaceful beyond words. I'm going to let you listen for a second before we start trying to prayer and get ourselves in the real, real feel of what it's like to be in this paradise, I would have to say. Enjoy for a few seconds, folks. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. As you all will hear, it's very unusual in the background as well. Something that's sort of like unique to any of the gardens here in Barbados, and that is this well-balanced music that's throughout. The entire way we go, you're going to hear that the same volume. It is speakers located in strategic positions throughout this garden. And you just feel, I don't know, heavenly down in here. You know, this is somewhere you could spend hours and hours and hours. There are numerous picnic areas that you can sit with your baskets on a day. Um, Anthony is up here if you want to come up and talk to him. A wealth of information. I mean, Anthony, Anthony has all the information you can possibly imagine on the you know, production of somewhere like this here. I mean, he purchased this property in, I would say, I think it's two, in 1990. And not before 2007 did he open the doors to the public. So he worked on it the entire time there with his, with his team. And I produced what I would have to say. Most definitely could not have been done without God's blessing and without his touches on Anthony's creativity. Because this is an amazing experience. I don't know how long this vlog will be on for today. We do have some areas that the signal drops a little bit, but I think we should have a consistent signal with what we're experiencing now. But please enjoy this here. If you have to go, it will be up later. And hopefully, if the battery life stands up on the phone, I will most definitely be broadcasting uh, or putting a live, not a live, sorry, a high resolution video later on because I want you to see these colors and see what I'm seeing in the best quality that I can possibly produce. So that is my intention after this live. But we're going to start our walk now. I'm going to do a lot of quietness in here because I want you to walk these paths and feel what I am feeling. So if you've been here before, turn on those memories. If you've never been here before, open your mind, open your ears, open your heart because you're in for an experience this morning. Here we go. If you ever come here or if you've been here before and you have not done it I would strongly recommend that wherever you see a path leading here you take everyone if you have to spend the entire day exploring every path in this place I recommend not doing that for sure and here is 
magical. It is just beautiful. The creativity, unimaginable. How someone, good morning to everyone. You may not see our friend today, but you're seeing a reflection of him. Just beautiful little coves like this here set up all over the place. Just absolutely amazing. Just listen to the piece in here as I do a little turn around here for you. Colors bursting all over the place. And amazing sculptors, planters, just just the creativity of everything. Everything looks as though it's been just put in place meticulously. It is beautiful. Imagine we haven't even started to descend yet. What I will tell you is um, down here a lot of these surfaces like old sod stones that have grown a little bit of moss and stuff on them. So when you're coming down here if it's moist I definitely would recommend the 2 by 2s I wouldn't wear slippers in here. I had mentioned about slippers would be okay but some slippers are you know have good good grips on them but i would definitely recommend putting on some software because you want to be careful down here uh, you want to make sure you can enjoy everywhere colors just bursting I'd wanted to do this gardens again for a long time, but I was waiting for the right moment. And I've been all through it this morning. It's met Anthony this morning early. He put on his, his favorite music for this location. And it's most definitely my favorite. Last time I was here, I went home and found this soundtrack. And I always play this here whenever I just want to mellow completely out. You can see the numerous sitting areas on all the different elevations here. If you can't make the steps to go down inside, you can make in a walker or something from your car to the top here, any of these bench areas, you will be able to feel the same thing you're going to feel down inside. It is beautiful. Amazing. I don't know if any of you all watch the movies Outer Banks, but season two, um, there's one part or a couple of parts which show the pirates hide out. Um, that is the section up there. Where's the bar? You will notice that. I'm sure many of you have seen all the different locations in Barbados in that, in that series. Um, but this is the pirates bar. Unfortunately, it didn't show the garden, but I can make that out anywhere. As soon as it came up, I knew exactly where it was. Well, I'm going to a little more silent mode here for you to digest and absorb what I am seeing and feeling. There we go. Everything is just exploding. Lilies everywhere. All different kinds of colors all radiant and fully reached out perfect perfect conditions to show off this place don't worry I haven't forgotten your 360 I'm just letting you see everything all around not stopping the concentrate in any 360 until we get a little bit further on You know, there's one thing about Anthony and that is that he doesn't do this here for the public. He does this from his heart and from his soul. This took him years and years to create. And this morning, he's going to be working with Imran, which is his number one help up here on some new projects. I've seen some of them that are coming online. So there's going to be an entire new area to explore next time we're up here. But today, feast your eyes, ears, and enjoy
Well, so if I sound a little bit low keyed, I'm not tired. I'm well, well awake, feeling perfect. Just as up here has a way of just numbing me and just pacifying me, and I just love it. This is not somewhere to rush through. If you're coming here, put a couple of hours one side, please. And when you're finished your walk through these gardens, spend a little time with Anthony. Get to know him. He's going to give you some information and some history and some of his wisdom from the years here. You will definitely sit and be riveted to your chair for sure. Just look at the colors of everything. My goodness. Talk about heavenly. We haven't even started to descend into the actual garden yet. Remember this is a sink hole, it's about two and a half acres of a caved in, or sorry, a fallen in cave. Um, that has been developed. So what you're seeing here, nothing was here before. It was just a lot of rub, a lot of bush and stuff. And the creativity of this guy here <laughs> has brought this place to life. This is a national treasure. I got to tell you, this is not just a garden. This is a national treasure. So you all have seen the upper edge. So what you've seen so far is makeable in a walker. So if you're unable to make the steps going in, you will see there are tons of vantage points. You can come and sit up here while your family or friends go down inside and explore. I can be assured on top of here, you're going to feel exactly what you're going to feel down inside the garden. Peace for every time you come through these gates. Okay, we're going to start the descent now. I'm going back on quiet mode. Let me take in what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Beautiful kitty cat. Good morning. Look at there. Hello. I'm going to say hi. Look at there. Hello. You're going to have a companion walking with us in the garden, it looks like. Talk about an explosion of colors. Woo! Mercy. Just look at this garden. I don't even want to speak, believe that or not. Me next saying that. Imagine. As I mentioned just now, any path you see, we're not going to be able to venture into each and every little cove area, but I'm just going to show you a couple of them on the way down. Signal does drop a little bit in this area, so hopefully everything will be a-okay.
and this just goes on and on there are more coves so as we go further into the section but it does get a little bit bloody cliff so i'm going to stay out of there just beautiful i remember anthony for the time he had a landscaping company in the garden up in providence in Christchurch, and then he moved to the location in bridgetown and then i hadn't heard of him for a while but i didn't know what was going on i'm not really a person that would have appreciated this kind of beauty to be real honest with you you know that started in 2016 that's when my angel led me to a different life of which I'd be able to pursue and enhance and enrich and from that day on. Stunning. Just stunning. Let me use the word breathtaking as well. You could even hear the birds are singing merry tunes. Just not, just not here singing. They're, you can hear the peace and the happiness that they're living in. You can just hear how they're radiating. What a lovely combination of this beautiful music and what we're seeing here. Just unbelievable. I, this is something you all have to experience. No matter how many videos I bring or how many pictures I do of down here, nothing could possibly tell you the way I feel right now. friend how are you going hello <laughs> Good day. companion hello kitty cat hello now you'll understand why you want to wait until 6 30 this morning i needed to bring a little bit of light to show off this beauty i didn't want to come down here in the darkness at all not that I mind kind of darkness. You all would know I was in here when it was pretty dark already. But I want to bring you this beauty with some light behind it. So you can see all the different colors just... I, I keep using the word exploding because they're not just colors here. They're actually exploding in front of me. You know, nothing looks cluttered. Nothing looks like too much. It is, everything looks as though it is exactly where it is supposed to be. And that, that is the incredible, incredible assets this gentleman has of taking beauty and even making it more beautiful, if that even sounds possible. blessed with gifts beyond anyone's imagination to create something like this for sure. You all know, I only tell you as it is, down here is heaven on earth.
I have this dreamy feeling down here this morning. You know, I, I'm usually bubbling and everything all over the place, but right now, I just have this this feeling as though I'm sort of like in a dream. It is just so beautiful and so difficult to to believe that this kind of beauty can be found all together this way. Like I said everything is placed perfectly. Now we haven't done any of our EMC photo ops yet, but we're going to take in one right now. Just stunning. Now, Mr. Conductor, I know you like to tell me to keep it short and stuff, but today, this is just too peaceful, just too lovely, and just too heavenly. And I am at total ease. My heart is settled, absolutely settled right now. I know for sure that you all are feeling what I'm feeling. I'm watching comments going on the screen here. So I know you all are understanding what's going on. I'd like to say a special good morning to my brother, although he's not from the same blood. Feels as though he is. Darwin Scott, good morning to you, sir. Great to see you on board. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to challenge the, the old body here now. And I don't mind if my clothes get dirty. That's irrelevant because I want you to sit or look and enjoy this with me. Mm, 
Okay, I notice the device doesn't like to be rotated so high in the air, but don't mind. I show you glance, you glance at what I was trying to bring you. Beautiful, beautiful royal farms. Perfectly placed again. You can lay here, look at the blue, blue sky, and they're just surrounded by the royal farms. Just perfectly placed. Here, a monkey even waking up in the distance. Just to show you, that he's up there actually. You can see him, see the trees rustling around. See them going up the bark. Quite a few of them up in there. You can hear them, listen to them. Look at the monk to them. It's like a troop. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we started this morning's walk up there. There's a bench up there overlooking the garden just to give you an idea of where we are in comparison to where we started. <laughs> Woo, talk about feeling peaceful. <laughs> I feel as I'm walking, sleeping. It's so beautiful down here and relaxing. Wherever you see tracks, follow. You're going to find little sitting areas like this here, just perched perfectly. The thought that must have gone into this, along with the everyday tweaking to produce this product here, is God given. You can hear all of the birds. Just having a wonderful time. Look at the red. I don't know if you can make out the red flowers on this plant. Is this not stunning? Let me see if you can get a little bit closer. Just so dainty and fragile, but so, so beautiful. Lots of yellow breasts all over flying around. Goodness gracious, look at them. Treats for every direction that you look. All I can say is thank you God for giving me the life that I could come here and bring this beauty to all my friends and my loved ones. Angie, my darling, I know you, if not on here now, you'll be watching us later. And you can put this on the top of your list because when you come back, we're coming to spend an entire day here, not a couple hours, an entire day here. If you're not a botanical person or a person that likes gardens and stuff, trust me, come here. Your life and your opinion about gardens will change. It is not only the beauty of the surroundings that you're seeing, the burst of colors and absolute gorgeousness everywhere. It's the sounds of the music, which blends perfectly with the birds. The birds are actually, you can hear the happiness in the birds down in here. That is how it is. They're not just chirping as though they want food. They're chirping as though they're happy to be alive. That's how they make me feel anyhow. This is my favorite section here of the garden, or one of my favorite sections, because I found a few more favorites today. I have a long list of them, but this is the part that I just love to walk through. Hopefully the signal will stay strong. You can see all the good, beautiful colors that are rich down here.
as you can see, no matter where you go, no matter where you decide to sit in this garden or walk in this garden, there's beauty everywhere around you. It is <laughs> Woo, moving down here for sure, to say the least. of all these beautiful beautiful oh my goodness as rich and as vibrant as possibly imaginable I gotta do a 4k down here definitely without a doubt I'm gonna do a silent 4k probably not say a word as impossible but I will try You know, it has a feeling as though you're your own little paradise. You know, we're getting a little bit of now, uh, sounds from vehicles and stuff passing because we are near uh, a road, heavily used road. Um, however, with the music and the surrounding of this actual sinkhole, it makes you feel as though you're in your own paradise. And once again, we are seeing this before this garden opens, so you can appreciate you're seeing and hearing what you would not normally experience down here unless you ask Anthony for some special permission as they have done. All right, we're following these paths. Hopefully we won't lose signal. If we do lose signal at any given time, um, I will be back on as quick as possible. But I, I really would like to show you as much as I can show you. You know, we we talked a little earlier about you can sit anywhere. I mean, <laughs> you're coming up this path. Would you imagine to find places like this waiting on you? No matter where you look, it's just beautiful. Look at that beige in the sky, folks. This is what awaits you today for all of you on the island. If you have a chance today, come on up here, please. If you don't have the opportunity today, please put it on your list to do whenever you do have that chance because this is one place that I would highly, highly recommend coming and seeing. It's just beautiful out here. Look at the ferns that are growing just all along the cliff section here look check these out just gorgeous
Check the colors of these. And the richness, look at this, just glowing. I'm going to say it again. Welcome to one of the national treasures of Barbados because <laughs> this will bring you to Barbados, I am sure. You can breathe peace in here. And I know for sure we have some really experienced and, uh, you know, long time people with us that started with us since the 21st of January. And I'm sure that right now, the peace and the tranquility that you're experiencing along with sounds that are down in here, I'm sure definitely are rated up there with everything else we've ever done. A lot more than sand and sea people, a lot more than sand and sea on this island. All right, we're going to start to make our way back out now. Uh, I hope you all have really enjoyed this area. I've had an amazing, amazing time. I know for sure that when I leave here, I will probably be the most peaceful person in Barbados. I can assure you that this place is just relaxing. It just has me feeling sort of like almost trancey it is it is that overwhelming the beauty of all down here the colors are bursting everywhere you know the, everywhere you look and i'm going to take you here in a 360 a couple of 360s one in lower elevation one on the higher elevation when you see that looking at different sections i want you to have a look here and see everything it looks as though it's just been meticulously placed and perfectly placed to bring this beauty
All right, folks, today, please carry this peace and this serenity with you. And please share the joy and the love that you're feeling in your heart right now with all those around you. And whether they take it in or whether they appreciate it, it is not relevant. You give off what you're feeling. That is what you call freedom. Freedom to love, freedom to care, freedom to be kind, freedom to smile, freedom of choice. And most important thing is the freedom to follow your light. Your light. No one can tell you not to follow your light. You can be locked in six by six. That cannot stop you from following your light. You can be flat on your back. You can still follow your light. So today you all have a great day, everyone. Remember where your blessings have come from. Remember what you're supposed to do with them. Give them away as you receive them. Have a great day. Love you all. Greetings from Barbados. Enjoy this little bit of a photo op. Have a great thing. Love you all.